Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Viola, I'm a photographer based in Austria and today we're going to talk about Dodge and Burn a little bit. So I'm sure you know the basics of Dodge and Burn. If you don't, I made a separate video about this and I'll link it in the info box up on the screen. Um, but there is obviously the basic Dodge and Burn and then a lot of photographers use what is called Dodge and Burn with a black and white layer which looks like this. Um, I have an action for this, I'll link it below, you can download it, it's in my Dodge and Burn action pack. Um, and it just works like any other action. You just press play and then you see that there's this black and white layer added on top. Um, and so why do photographers do this? Why is this important for retouching? Let's get into that. So on this black and white layer, on this right here, you can double click and it's going to open the colors that you can kind of um, set how bright or how dark they are, as you can see here. Um, and most of the imperfections, I guess, in the skin and like the darker shadows and stuff are red toned. So what you do for retouching is you turn down this red tone a lot, um, obviously depending on the skin tone of your model. As you can see with her, I would have to go even darker and for her it's perfect already. Um, but yeah, so you basically use this Dodge and Burn layer, then the black and white layer, and then you turn down the red tones um, and then you can just go on your dodge and burn layer and as always with 30% flow and 30% opacity and a white brush a soft white brush um, you can then work on these shadows that you might not see without the dodge and burn layer it only looks a tiny bit darker here without the black and white layer but with the black and white I can really see all of the like imperfections and you can even do micro dodge and burn with this which is basically where you zoom in really really close and you go over all of these like tiny little um, red spots whether it's pores or small pimples or just uneven skin tone whatever it is and you can just kind of get rid of this and it's kind of hard to see all of this without the black and white layer but with the black and white layer everything just comes out like really strongly because of the red tones that we turned down um, so basically <laughs> that's why photographers retouchers everybody uses a black and white layer on top of the Dutch and brand layer and as I've said it's linked down below you can download it it makes your retouch workflow so much easier and you can work so much more exact because you see all of the little imperfections and everything you can zoom in here and seriously <laughs> brighten up every single pore that you see you can brighten this up a little bit more and then go with a bigger brush and do like the rest kind of here and it just evens out the skin tone a lot um, and so let's delete this so this is the before of this photo without any retouching and with using the black and white dodge and burn layer and basic dodge and burn i created this out of that. Um, so as you can see, I also took the red out a little bit, but mainly I just work with Dodge and Burn and that black and white layer because it just makes it so much easier for me to see all of the little pores and everything. Let's do like a close-up comparison here. So here the skin, obviously these two models have like really, really great skin, but you can find tiny little imperfections with pretty much everybody and as you can see there's like a little bit redness here um, and then we just have like normal pores and stuff and here everything is just kind of a little bit more calm on the skin and that's just because of that black and white dodge and burn layer that just helps you so much with retouching. Um, I hope this video and this explanation was helpful for you. If you have any specific questions that you want me to answer about dodge and burn, retouching, photography in general, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them or make a separate video about them and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!